Now we want to turn to our other top story this morning, the eyes of the world on North Korea, escalating tensions in the region after Kim Jong-un sent drones over South Korea, the first time they've done so since 2017, but just the latest in a string of recent provocations. NBC's Ali Aruzi has the very latest on the threat. Ali, good morning to you. Good morning, Kristen. That's right. Another brazen act of provocation by the North Koreans. This morning, they launched five drones into South Korea, uh, making it a very tense situation for the South Koreans. Uh, they ground uh, flights at uh, two airports this morning, and they were forced to scramble fighter jets and attack helicopters to try and bring down those drone drones that were launched into their territory. Uh, one of the five drones flew very close to the capital, to the northern and parts of Seoul. The other four were detected on the East Coast. Uh, they sh the South Koreans fired something like 100 shots at the drones, but they weren't able to bring them down. They lost uh, track of them. The South Koreans even crashed one of their own aircrafts in an attempt to bring down those drones. Their pilots are said to be safe after that crash. And this morning, the South Koreans also launched their own reconnaissance missions of drones into North Korea, saying that it was a corresponding mission, which seems to suggest that the North Korean drones were also on a surveillance mission uh, in the South. Kristen, this is the first time they've la launched drones into South Korea since 2017, and the South Koreans say that this was a very provocative act in their airspace. Mm, just incredibly disconcerting. And Ali, just to put this into a broader context, this comes as tensions have already been rising in the region. What can you tell us about that? Uh, that's right. Uh, the North Koreans have launched uh, over 90 missile uh, attacks into or tests into uh, the South Korean area. That's more than they've done in any other year so far. That's in defiance of uh, UN resolutions banning ballistic missile tests and other nuclear devices. But the North just keeps ramping it up this year. They have uh, military parades. And these are all signals and warnings, not only to Seoul, Kristen, but also to Washington. So we can expect more of this going into 2023. Yeah, Washington and the world watching this very closely. Ali Aruzi, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.